What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Mega Garchomp from Pokemon. Let's get started at the top center of our page with the head. So right in the middle, we start with a point. From this point, I want to curve out and down towards the left. Coming out towards the side of the head. Go back to the center, we're going to curve out and down towards the right. Now we're going to draw the arms of the extension going out towards the side. So on the left, we're going to go straight out with a short line on either side. Now we're going to do an overlap. From the end of the line, I'm going to step down, curve up and out towards the left. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's round out the extension. From the top, we're going to curve out and then pull that in. Now from the bottom, I want to curve in and up, aiming towards that point, but we leave a little gap on the inside. Let's define the shape of these extensions by adding a couple curves. We're going to start on the outside, we're going to curve down and then up on the inside. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to do the same thing along the bottom. Curving down and up, and same thing on the right. Now from the inside of that line, I want to curve in and then down. And we're going to draw a short angle line coming down and in. Now this is for the inside edge of the eye. Now we're going to go back to the outside, curve down and then in. And from here we're going to angle down and in with a short line. And we're going to come down towards the center point. So let's start on the left. We're going to angle down and in towards the middle and then back up on the right side. Let's go to the inside of the eye. I want to curve out and up towards the side of the head. Now let's add in the pupil. Along the top of the eye, I'm going to draw a half circle. Curving down and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now right in the center, we draw a small point. Let's fill the outside of the eyes in black. Let's add that six-pointed star in the center of the forehead. Starting in between the eyes, right in the middle, start with a point. We're going to angle up and out toward the left, and then the right. Let's go straight across towards the outside. Now we're going to come up and in. Right about there. And we'll go up and out towards the side of the star. Let's pull this back in with a straight line in towards the middle. And then we're going to go up towards the center point, to the top of the head. Now let's draw on the lower jaw. Starting from the corner of the head, we're going to angle down and in with a straight line. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll close off the bottom with a curve, from left to right, coming down and then up. Let's add in the top row of teeth. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a V. Do the same thing on the right. Add another one right beside it. And then the last one, we're just going to angle down and out towards the side of the mouth. Now let's add in the bottom row of teeth. Start from the center, we go up and then down towards the left. And then the right. We're going to add a couple more on either side. In the center of the mouth, we're going to draw a curve from left to right going in behind the beak and continuing down on the right side. Let's flare out the side of the jaw. Starting from this point, we're going to angle up and out towards the left and then the right. And then from here, we want to curve in and down towards the chin. So let's start on the left. We're going to curve in and then down. Let's angle down and in with a straight line was the edge of the chin. Now we extend the chin down, two short lines coming down and in. We'll close off the bottom with a curve. 
Okay, so we finished the head. Let's draw on the body. We're going to start with the neck first. So over on the side of the left jaw, we're going to angle down and out with a straight angled line. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move up and draw on the top of the shoulder. So we'll step up, curve out, and down toward the tip of the shoulder on the left, and then the right. Now let's curve in the edge of the shoulder. Starting from the left, go down and in with a short line on either side. Now we're going to overlap the upper arm on top of the shoulder. Starting on the left, we're going to step up, curve down and out on both sides. Now let's overlap the forearm. Step in, we're going to do a large curve, going out and up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now from the top, we're going to round out the edge of the blade. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve out, and we'll just pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curving out, rounding out the blade, and pulling that in. Let's thicken up the bottom of the blade. Starting from the bottom, curve out, and up to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out, and then up. Now the forearm gets thinner as we come in towards the elbow. So starting here, we curve in right underneath the elbow. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's close this off with a curve from top to bottom, curving in. I'm going to wrap the elbow around the inside of the arm. Starting at the bottom of this curve, curve down, and then up on both sides. And then from here we're going to go straight up and then bend that in. We're going to add a small fold on the bottom of the arm. Starting up here we're going to curve in and then down, just over the edge of that line. Now let's go back out and add the edge of the blade. Start from the top here, we're going to taper this down. We're going to stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then down. I'm going to follow the curve of the blade going all the way up towards the top. Give an even space gap up to the top. And then from the top, we're just going to taper this in toward the top of the arm. Let's draw on the sides of the body coming down towards the hip. So we start underneath the arm on the left side, curve down and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're just going to round out the hip. On the left, curve in and then down. Let's add a couple spikes underneath the arms. Starting on the left side, we're going to angle down and in, and we'll go straight out. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to add one more. Come down and in, and go straight out in behind the elbow. Let's move back to the center of the body and add that trim. So we start on the left side underneath the chin. Start by curving down and then out. We're going to mirror the same thing over on the right side. Now we're going to round this out and then pinch that in towards the hip. In. Now back on the left side, we're going to curve out and then come straight down. Come out, straight down towards the same height. And then from here we're going to come down and in with a straight line towards a center point. Now from the center we're going to step up, start with a point. From here we're going to curve up and out towards the left and then the right. Let's move up, we draw another point, and we're curving the opposite direction. Curving down and out. In the center of the body, I'm going to add a curve from left to right for the edge of the chest. And we're going to move up just underneath the chin. We're going to add two short angle lines for the collarbone. Now we're going to add some spikes pointing out from this trim, starting up here. 
and go down and out toward the left. Just line this up on the right and do the same thing. And go back down and in. Now we're just going to repeat this all the way down towards the hip. Now let's move back down to these two points. We're going to curve the inside of the leg. Start from left, we curve down and then out. We do the same thing on the right side. Let's round out the back of the leg. From here, we do an overlap, stepping in and down and in. With a short curve. Now we're just going to round out the ankle, just curving this back out. I'm going to curve out and down towards the bottom of the foot on both sides. From the bottom of the foot, we're going to stack three claws on top of each other. So starting here, we're going to go straight out towards the first claw. Now let's draw on the top of the first claw. We're going to go up and then pull that down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going straight out, curve up, and then down. Let's stack two more claws in behind. From the tip of the first claw, we're going to step up, a straight line going across, curve up, and then tuck that in. Let's do that one more time. And we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now back over on top of the last toe, I'm gonna curve the top of the foot going up and then in. Do the same thing on the right, curve it up and then in. Now we want to round up the ankle and go back out. It's almost like a backward C on the left and then the right. Now before we get into drawing the outside of the leg, I'm going to draw that large spike. So from this point, I'm going to step up, start with a dot. From here, I want to curve in and up, aiming towards that hip. But we're not going to go all the way. We're going to stop right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Just above that line, start with a point, curve up, and in, aiming towards the hips. Let's draw on the bottom of the spike. Starting on the left, curve out, and then up. And we're going to pull this down towards the top of the line with a slight curve. Now we're going to go back up to the hip. We're going to draw on the side of the leg. Starting on the left, we're going to curve out, and down in behind that spike. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming out and then down. Now we're going to come down at the bottom of the spike. We're going to curl around the knee. Come down and we'll curve that up just over the lower edge of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, come down, and then up. Let's add two more spikes on each thigh. From this point, we're going to step over. We're going to angle up with a short line towards the hip, leave a gap, and draw another one. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, draw one line, leave a gap, and draw the second. Now we're going to merge the end of the lines towards one point, going up towards the leg, and then back down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Going up towards the outside of the leg, back down. Let's add some trim lines to the feet. Starting at the top of the foot, curve in. Now we're just going to pull that down towards that bottom point. Step in, we're going to draw that twice. Do the same thing on the right side. Now the last thing we're going to do is add the tail in behind the body. So from the right leg, we're going to step down. I'm going to curve down and out in behind the left leg. We're going to go to the outside, curve out and up. Now we're going to taper the tail back in so it gets thicker. Come in and then in behind the leg. Let's add three curves to the tip of the tail. Starting from the top, we're going to curve out and then back in. We'll draw that two more times. 
And then finally, we're gonna add two curved spikes on the back. Starting out here, curve down and out. Go to the top of the tail, go in behind this claw. Now from the tip, we're gonna taper it in behind the tail. And you'll see the edge of it along the top. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Mega Garchomp from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.